Hi guys, welcome to Simple Programming. In our previous example, we looked at the usage of other rate of configuration properties with a simple example. What if your property structure is complex? How can you map that to your Java object? Let us see it in action in this example. For this example, this is going to be our property structure. And we are going to map this particular property structure to a Java object. Let us see it in action. In our previous example, we used the same property Java object, but we annotated this property with other rate of component and other rate of configuration properties. In this example, I'm not going to do it. I have removed those two annotations. This property is going to serve as a plain Java object. Next, I have created a base property abstract class that has a list of properties. I have a getter for that and I have a setter for this. This base property is going to serve as base property file for all the properties that you're going to use in your application. Now, I'm going to create a new file which is complex property. Complex property is going to extend the base property. You might have noticed that other rate of component and other rate of configuration properties has been moved here and it has a prefix that is complex. This particular prefix complex is going to serve as the start of the property keys. Let us move to the configuration property controller. In the configuration properties controller, I have auto at the complex property. Note, I have not auto at the base property or the property uh, Java object itself, but I have auto at the complex property here. And I'm going to return the list of property as it is. Let's go to our application.yaml file and see how the property is listed there. Here, the property is listed as complex.property of zero is dot number of students equal to 10. And again, the school name equal to high school. If you are not familiar with the YAML structure, I suggest you go and take a quick uh, tutorial on YAML. It should take you less than five to 10 minutes. After that, you'll be able to understand all the structure of YAMLs. Let us look at how the Java objects that we created for these properties correlate to this property structure. Here, the complex is the prefix and we have a Java class created with other rate of configuration properties, prefix equal to complex. That Java class is the entry point for your properties. Then we have the dot property. This dot property is nothing but the base property class that I created. That base property has the list of the property objects in it. And then comes the actual property object. So this is how the actual mapping of properties is done in case of a complex scenario. You can have multiple such scenarios and you can think of different ways to put together your properties and load it into a Java object. Now let us run our application and see what is the output that we get. The application has started and now let's go to the browser and try to hit the URL. We got a response and you could see in the response that we have got the property in the application YAML as it is. Number of students equal to 10, school name equal to high school, number of students 5, school name equal to kindergarten. So this is an example of how to load complex property structures from your YAML or property file into a Java object in Spring Boot. Thanks for watching and please subscribe for more videos.